Alright guys, so since my last video on the channel was a Pokemon Go hack, I figured I might as well show you guys the most effective and best way to use it, I guess, if you're going for Generation 2 Pokemon that happen to be very rare. The first thing you want to do is go on your Safari search, and yes, this only works for the iOS devices. If you didn't see the hack, it will be linked in the video description down below to the previous video that I uploaded on the channel, or if you just want to click the channel and go on the video prior to this one, it's that video. So what you want to type in on your Safari is Pokesniper.org. Basically, this is a website where it has all the locations for rare Pokemon and their IVs tracked. If it has 100% IV, that means all the stats are equal and the best possible version of that Pokemon that you can possibly get in Pokemon Go. Now if you open this page and you don't like go on Pokemon Go and load it up quick enough, I recommend refreshing the page because as you guys know, Pokemon despawn, they don't stay there forever, so it might be at that current time that you open the page before you refreshed it, that Pokemon says it's going to be there at that location as it shows you the coordinates to where it may be and it won't be there because the time's gone by the 10 minute marker or so that they actually have spawned in and then despawn it may have gone by so as you can see right now I'm looking for a very rare Pokemon preferably like a fully evolved Gen 2 starter maybe a Feraligator, a Meganium or a Typhlosion but there isn't any I don't think so I'm going to go back up to the top if not and get the 100% IV Chikorita and to my expectations I am right if you guys don't think that the starters are worth getting in their non evolved form they definitely are because then you can get the candy you can get the IVs up to the maximum potential of 100% and all you want to do to track these is literally copy and paste the coordinates so now we're going to go back onto Pokemon Go and the settings you want to have on your hack is fake location enabled so you can actually you know have a fake location you also want teleportation enabled and I'm going to show you guys how to catch the Pokemon without getting soft bands so they don't run away and you also need show quads button on map so you actually need this is a vital step to do what I'm doing right now exactly, you need to go onto the map of where you spawn in on Pokemon Go when you open the app, whether it's your house, whether you're out in the street or something and you're not moving anywhere. You need to go and open the map and then actually click the coordinates button and copy and paste this into your notes. This is a vital step, otherwise you won't be able to catch multiple Pokemon or Pokemon every 60 seconds that you don't have on your Pokedex yet or rare Pokemon that you just generally don't have and you want to get a good IV of. And as you can see, I've already actually done that step, so I'm not going to show you guys me copy and pasting my own coordinates of my house into my notes because it's literally here I'm just gonna copy and paste them from the notes back into my copy and paste system so when I'm in battle with the Pokemon this is how you don't get soft banned you don't move once you've teleported because you literally land on top of the Pokemon's head and I click the Caterpie twice that spawns next to the Chikorita but that doesn't really matter but anyways you literally spawn exactly on top of the Pokemon that you're tracking about 99% of the time. This is the most reliable website by far to actually snipe Pokemon or get any Pokemon anywhere in the world and because I've copied my coordinates now to my house it doesn't think I've moved so once I'm in battle or in kind of catching state of the Chikorita I can just teleport back home within battle and then catch it and I won't be soft banned. As you can see I will go to a poker stop when I get back and spin it and I will get items out of it. As you guys may or may not know this is pre-recorded so I already know what happens anyways but I run away from the Caterpie, click it again and I didn't really click it to be honest. I was wanting to ch click the Chikorita but the Chikorita I get it in the first catch and it's a 100% IV and I can show you guys as well how you check that but if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more Pokemon Go videos on the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you aren't subscribed to the channel already to show me that you are interested in seeing more consistency of this game and also leave a like in the video down below. I will start doing monthly giveaways again if this hits over 200 likes this video and that's a big ask but the last video of the hack did very very well and yeah that's basically all I wanted to say to you guys because I know Pokemon Go did a lot on my channel or a lot for my channel before when I didn't you know I didn't know it would do good but then I just started uploading it when the game came out and then stopped because it kind of got stale but now it's back in action because we got Gen 2 everything's gonna be lit and as you can see we got the Chikorita a good CP and also a 100 percent IV I'll show you guys in a second but as you can see within the battle we didn't see us um, actually teleporting back to my house but this is the rough location if you guys have a mental image of it of what it was before before we teleported to the Chikorita it's the exact place and as you can see you can just run around on this app if you didn't know already in times 8 speed so that's why I thought I was driving and as you can see I'm going to spin the poker stop and we are going to get items out of it but I'll show you guys the 100% IV Chikorita right now at the very very top and I have a 100% IV Totodile as well so thank you all for watching leave a like in the video down below if this helped or you enjoyed in any way to use the Pokemon Go Plus Plus app in 2.0 form and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you all for watching again and as always peace out